It's Bata Brand. Hi guys, welcome to Bata Brand. I'm Brand, and this is Andrew Tay. Yo. Yo. <laughs> is English your first language? Yes. I struggle with it so much. <laughs> when did you start dancing? When I was four years old. <clears throat> Babies! Yeah. Did your parents put you in dance? I think I asked. Yeah? <laughs> no, I do. I think I asked when I was younger, but I did all that shit like tap jazz, but Were you baton. Baton? Yeah, for sure. If I give you a baton right now, could you twirl it? Yeah. We have a permanent installation, me and Sasha, in the LAX airport right now that plays uh, every hour on the hour. Stop it. It's like really cool. It's like a, it's a Busby Berkeley clock made of like women dancing. That's so and, cool! Like, yeah, it's really awesome. So do you consider yourself a contemporary dance artist? So I'm a dance curator, I'm a yeah. choreographer, I sometimes write about dance, like I yeah. play all of the fields. Do you have a most embarrassing moment on stage? Yes, you do. I can see it in your eyes. <laughs> I feel like every moment feels like the most embarrassing. I don't know, I also tend to turn the embarrassing moments into mm -hmm. something that afterwards I can be like, oh, well, that was actually cool. Otherwise, I just couldn't live with myself afterwards. Where did your inspiration come from in terms of, like, artists? I mean, it comes from everywhere. Yeah? It's hard to say because I just grab from, like, a whole bunch of stuff like pop culture, um, music, like really high contemporary art, yeah. really trash shit. Yeah. I'm really of that kind of thing. Like that piece is called Summoning Aesthetics. It's a collaboration with a visual artist, uh, Francois Lalemia. Mm -hmm. Cast spells, create magic, yeah. summon things into existence without actually knowing what the fuck we're doing. Right. Then what happens? We're not doing research on magic. We're not doing like, we're just like trying to do it without okay. knowing what the fuck we're doing. Okay. And then seeing what actually appears if in the space. This piece we're also trying to work on this kind of uh, internet aesthetic of like... Internet? Yeah. Okay. Like, kind of like a Tumblr page where like things are just like image upon image, like things are just constantly like shifting or relationship between this and that. And it's hard to describe it. We're really trying to work on it not being situated in dance, in visual arts, in theater, that anytime we feel like it's leaning one way or the other, we try to destabilize it. So it can't really be defined as yeah. a singular genre of performance. Okay. I weirdly feel like Toronto is very hungry right now. People are really open to new ideas, and so I think it will be received fairly well. I think it's interesting the curation of this week too because it's all work that's kind of dealing with the same themes and it's maybe outside of the traditional Toronto. Like I mean when I think of Toronto dance for sure I think of this kind of, I think of TDT, I think of like formal kind of, kind of work. Yeah, um, the old school. Yeah, New sometimes. Parts. But I think that people are also here are like looking for new ideas and like this sure. is really, this is really nice to me and yeah. Do you have advice for young dancers entering like the professional dance world? What I would say is just be open to whatever comes, and I would also say surround yourself well. When you're surrounded by artists that you like, respect and you know are doing good work, yeah, like things come, and so many jobs you get are from the other artists who yeah. also respect your work. Where do you see yourself in ten years? Like solely choreographying? That's a word. No, I think I will definitely keep uh, <clears throat> this kind of multiplicity of. Because I get bored if I'm doing one thing. Do you know what haiku is? No, I, I think it's a. It's what, tell me the, the syllable. What do you structure. think it is? Is it seven, three, seven, four? Seven, three, <laughs> seven, three, seven, four. Yeah. Is the outline of a haiku. Yeah. Please make one. What? No, I don't want to perform in the bathtub. I'm already performing right now. We're having this You're interview. You are this interview. performing. This <laughs> you are fucking <following> so <laughs> <laughs> this interview is a performance right now. Thank you to our sponsors, your feel-good soap company, for providing amazing products. Organic, handmade, local, SLS and paraben free, and Liberty Village for providing amazing beer. Thank you. Every dance artists don't pay each other. <laughs> is that what you're insinuating? <laughs>